So Adina Linker, welcome back to VChat. It's good to see you again. Good to see you again. So tell us, what have you been working on? You are you are our social emotional learning specialist, one of many at CIS of Chicago. What's what's the latest in social emotional learning? Well, one of the things that we have uh, recognized the value of and we've launched this year is having conversations around social emotional learning beyond just the folks that might be in your office or your school. So thanks to CIS's national office, we've launched a professional learning community so that all of our affiliates, I believe it's 174, correct me if I'm wrong, Bart, um, can gather together and have deeper conversations about how social emotional learning is playing out in their state, their district, or the schools that they support. And what are you hearing, Adina, about the return to school this year? I mean, whether you're in Chicago or anywhere else in the country, that's that's such a big issue for schools to to prepare for and support the students here in Chicago. The students have been back for more than two months now. Like, what are, what are you hearing and how are schools responding? Across the board, whether we're talking about the early grades or even into high school, re-engaging in what we thought would be simple as far as social dynamics remains challenging. Um, the isolation that children experienced has, has shifted the way that they engage with other folks when they come into the classroom, whether it's hesitancy to be in groups, concerns about potentially bringing an exposure home to someone in their extended family, or just not having had the practice of doing some of the things that our social experiences offer us, taking turns, waiting to speak, um, sharing things. Um, that's especially critical for children in those early grades who didn't have a traditional classroom or were in preschool and, um, and are entering second grade and didn't have the opportunity to practice some of those social development skills in person. What are some of the things you've seen that show how teachers or other educators are being effective in teaching some of those social emotional learning skills that are needed? Well, those educators and the leadership of their schools that are giving them the time to focus first on relationships and then on reading and arithmetic are really seeing the investment starting to pan off. Spending a few weeks up front or dedicating time um, for those practices, those rituals daily is really translating into helping children access that muscle memory from when they were in those types of settings before. And for children where they didn't have that as a normative experience, those early grades I mentioned before, um, making sure that it has become an explicit part of their school experience, it's no longer a question of how we engage as a group. This is what we do at school, and that's becoming more normalized. What are your aims for the rest of the year through your work? To continue to leverage these rich conversations, allow folks from different communities to educate each other on what's working, um, to help them validate the struggles that they might be experiencing in different communities, and continuing to invest in the adult SEL space that I'm operating in, because when adults do it and model it amongst each other, children see it. And then they know that this is something that the people in their classrooms and schools are doing themselves, and therefore they're more willing to try that practice 